I'm a father of seven children, five of which being girls. I felt that I had to protect them. Was nobody gonna protect them the way that I could. And something happened to one of my daughters in my own home by a family member that turned everything upside down. Until this day, he's still in jail for the actions that he took in which we found out that had been taking place over the course of maybe four years. There's nothing that I had experienced in combat or a police officer that would prepare me for something of that magnitude happening to me, to her, while I'm there. I had to keep up the persona for her and the rest of the family that I was strong and that I would take care of this. But on the inside, it was killing me. I didn't want to do anything in my house because I didn't want my family to be able to have to clean up my mess. And I walked to the middle of the street and I looked both ways. There were no cars coming. And I said, this is it. I'm going to do it. My neighbor, who is also a veteran, was outside cutting his grass. And I came outside. He didn't know I was armed, but I was. He called me over. I walked over to his yard and he said, brother, what are you doing? I said, uh, just looking. He said, that's bullshit. I see it because I've done it. I was there. So I could see it a mile away. He said, I can pretty much smell it on you. Let's talk. And that day, he knew it as well as I did. He saved my life. I was tired of fighting. I was tired of going through things. Just tired, period. Tired of being tired. There are days that even today where you feel that everything will be better off if you were just gone and they'll be more taken care of and you wouldn't have to deal with it. But then how would they feel if you gave up and you ended it all? And why do they have to keep fighting when the strongest person in their eyes gave up and didn't continue to fight? I was lucky enough to have a support system in the family and outside of the family that I could talk to. And that helped me through a lot. And it helped her through a lot. Going through counseling, you need each other. We need each other. Without each other, we're nothing. So why would you suffer in silence? Tell someone, reach out. It doesn't make you less of a man or less of a person, period for you to seek for help. That's why we all exist, to complement each other, to make each other better, to be able to share our experiences, to learn from one another. No matter what the troubles are, there's always higher ground. And if you have hit rock bottom and there's nowhere else to go, why not try to go up? Because all that's free. You're never powerless. You're never worthless. You get your second win and you get back in the fight. Don't give up. Never give up.